Hello everyone, this is uh, Avitalk speaking to you on the fifth day of the war, which erupted on Saturday. Um, today I want to share with you a little bit of my personal um, experiences of the current situation. So, I have a son who is in the south right now. Um, I haven't uh, spoken to him in a few days, so I'm not sure um, if he's okay or not. Uh, the phone is uh, closed. Um, my husband is in a reserve duty in a different unit. And uh, my daughters are actually trying to volunteer. Uh, one donated blood, the other one uh, packed uh, packages for uh, people who can't reach food at this point of time. And my oldest daughter is actually going to a funeral in approximately half an hour of uh, her friend, which uh, was massacred in uh, Re'im party um, in the southern part of Israel on Saturday. So that's where as my personal family goes. Um, but I do want to also share with you something which I think is very, very unique for Israel, and that is the solidarity, the sense of solidarity. Um, every day when I come to the base or I sleep in the base, I meet dozens of people who bring to the gates of the base boxes filled with everything from towels, shampoos, soap, toothpaste, and going into drinks and uh, different kind of snacks. And I'm talking about huge quantities. And the most moving things that it's that these donations are coming from the heart. Yesterday, we received five huge boxes from a Druze community in a village called Yanuch. This is especially tragic because the officer who uh, actually uh, died in a uh, um, clash with terrorists two days ago is a lieutenant colonel who came exactly from that village. So these kind of gestures which unify really the entire society, I think they're a ray of hope in all of this kind of lack of stability and lack of, of knowing where we're heading next. Um, I, I also want to add that um, there are quite a few military achievements in terms of Israel. Israel is holding today in almost 1,000 bodies of Hamas terrorists. On the one hand, it's a big achievement. On the other hand, when you understand that 1,000 terrorists marched across the border at 6.30 in the morning on Saturday and tried to conquer the Jewish communities on the border and tried to massacre the people, you can understand the extent, maybe begin to understand the extent of the tragedy. 1,000 terrorists. So I'll be sure to return and keep you updated. And until then, thank you again for all of your support here from Israel from the northern border.